Name and title. <laughs> My name is Ed Pieper. I'm the general manager for Chevrolet. Ed, we've just uh, unveiled three different uh, mini, mini cars. Tell us about them. Tell us why Chevy is getting them. Well, th these concepts are really exciting. They're small vehicles. They're mini, mini car concepts. Uh, they'll be below what our current Chevrolet Aveo is. They're very expressive in design. Uh, the concepts, if, if we are able to bring them to production, will have excellent, exceptional uh, fuel economy. And they all have a little bit different personality to them. Uh, when you take a look at the, uh, the groove, it is more of a, like a funk nostalgic, nostalgic, HHR-like vehicle. It's in a matte paint finish, which is very, uh, very cool right now with, with younger people. And then you look at the Beat, which is a little bit more of a, a monocab uh, vehicle, a little bit more traditional car, but extremely expressive design. And then finally, the Trax is a little bit more of an off-road feel. So all three vehicles are the same size, but the, uh, the, the personality for each one is very, very, very distinct. Now, these were made, uh, designed in Korea, made in India? Well, they were, they were designed in Korea, uh, and they've been, I guess, bits and pieces and produced in various parts to, to get here as, as concept vehicles. But one of the neat things that we've done is we've asked consumers to vote. They can go to vote and the number four, Chevrolet.com, and they can go online and vote for their favorite concept of these three. What are you hoping to see when they do vote? Well, it's, it, it would be great to see what consumer reaction is to these three concepts. If we were only able to build one of these and bring it to production, and one was an overwhelming favorite in terms of its exterior styling, it's probably a good indicator that's the one we would want to build. So I think it could be very important. Because all of these are different sizes. Uh, they're pretty close, actually, in, in size. They're fairly close. They all, all seat four. Uh, they'll have, you know, kind of very fuel efficient uh, engines that'll go go in them or slated to go in them, mated with them, and they're going to get great fuel economy. Fairly similar in size. So then, what you're looking at more is exterior design of what the for this look exercise, for? asking consumers to vote on it would be the exterior design of what we call the triplets here. So. Now, Chevy is a huge part of General Motors. What actual percentage is Chevy of General Motors? Well, we're, right now we represent about 56% of the retail sales and about 58% of the total sales for General Motors uh, in, in North America. Globally, though, Chevrolet is the fastest growing automotive brand. And uh, we have the widest, most expansive product lineup in the entire industry. We think concepts like this you know, that would slide in and be a part of our product portfolio would make it that much more robust. What's your number one selling product in Chevrolet? Number one selling product is Silverado. You know, Silverado sells about 30% of our volume is Silverado. In fact, if we took Silverado out of Chevrolet, it would be the seventh largest automotive company by itself. So, and then followed by Impala and Cobalt, which are both you know passenger cars for us. Uh, are two of the best-selling passenger cars in America. Where do you, do you see Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet going more global in production and design? Yes, it's one of the strengths of our company to be really global in terms of uh, design, engineering, manufacturing. And for us to be able to leverage the size, strength, and power of General Motors all over the world. I mean, the designs for these vehicles came out of Korea. We have 11 design studios around the world. We're going to take the, the best designs all over the place, and I think it'll really add to our success here, certainly in North America. Ed, thank you very much. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. Thank you.